Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I am your Dungeon Master Darius. I have leveled up once more. Which means I... Yeah. Uh, I did get some money. In order to... In order to, uh... You know. Do the typical thing. I changed Mel over back to a white mage because... I kind of wanted the healings. And now my characters are stupid and ridiculously strong. <laughs> it's... Ugh. Anyways, I do want to do exploring into that little hole in there. But part of me is wondering whether or not that's that cave they were talking about. So, I'm going to do some exploring first. Because that's what these games are all about. Exploring. Adventure. Look around and hoping you have the money to buy shit. Let's see, we got this little cave. This is oh, Une Shrine. Aha. Uh -huh. Bra? Una guards the world of dreams while she sleeps. She won't wake up, no matter what I try. Will she be stuck in a Dream world forever? Uh, nope. I got nothing for that. Presumably. Ah, uh, pardon the yawning. It is early morning for me. Oh, well, for me. Let's see. This just opens up to that. Nui Network. What is this? Ah, Ancient Ruins. I'm feeling I'm not supposed to be there just yet. I mean, I've had no talk or whatnot of Ancient Ruins in the first place, so... Presuming, anyways. The Plito. Hello? Great Mage Noah could... Command magic like no one alive today can even hope. Uh, good for Noah. Hmm, why isn't my summon spell working? Let me try again. Yeah! Oh no, not another choke spell. What was you wrong? There once was a great and powerful mage named Noah who lived on the Dalg continent, but he is no longer with us. Leviathan and Bahamut no longer inhabit these islands. Noah sealed them on a floating continent. Wait. Oh! There's that shadowy lit. Oh! Okay, that makes more sense. One of the venerable Noah's disciples watches over the world of dreams. Rumor has it that this disciple slumbers in the southern fjords. Illustrious Noah was said to have such summoning power that he could call forth Leviathan and even Bahamut, the Dragon King himself. Interestingly enough, summoners can control stronger monsters than evokers. So what you're saying is that... Wait. The place is full of summoners. Is this where the summons are? Will you... Escape? Isen? Spark? Itra? Hyper? I mean, I'll take him. Yes. Well, guess who's no longer going to be the Geomancer. Oh, my lord. Oh, wait, no more spells. Oh, they still count as spells. Uh, let's remove sleep. Many... Those elements are all nice. Oh man, that's rough. That's rough that they all count as... Ugh. That's really rough. I am considering... I'm gonna reorganize my spells too. So, relearn Blind and Blizzard. Or Blizzara. Cool. Now, skip it. Isen, Spark, Itra, Hyper. 
Uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, God. I don't know how many times I've changed his class. Ghost is really doing well as a um, Dragoon, by the way. That might mostly be because he's a stupid strong at this point, but eh. Okay. Cool. I wonder where the rest of the... I don't know. I say the rest of, but I don't know how many more summons that there actually are. By the sound of it, there's at least... Bahamut and Leviathan. Autoshroom teleports the party out of dungeons. Okay. Guess it might be a good idea to have one. In case we've run out of spells. Oh my lord. So yeah, okay, so <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at the spell slots for male. So he can basically just cast... I, I gotta get into a fight now just to see what the hell these spells are like. Come on. Give me a fight. Needle, needle, monkey. So, summon Chocobo. Summon Shiva. Summon Rama, Ramu. Ifrit, summon Titan. I guess we'll start with Chocobo. I just want to see how the, the summons work now. Chocobo Dash! <laughs> cool, so... Alright. Like Scream, but not. Oh. oh, these guys are sorcerers. I don't want to play around with sorcerers too much. These guys can actually do some bad damage. Shiva! Oh, that's some pretty good damage. Third 15 times. Alright, alright. Shiva's pretty cool. Pun actually not intended, I swear. Kind of interesting that the overworld creatures have been the same so far. Alright. Shut up, phone. Spurk. Uh, you're... Nah. Just... Yeah. Arrow. Didn't even get to use this, the thing. This is why I need to have it so as one person is offensive. Hmm. Can I get over? No, I can't yet. I'm just thinking to myself, can I get over the mountains to see about getting Leviathan, but... Nah, not yet. Mind Blast. That wasn't lightning. But that did stun that Hell Guru. They have multiple... They have multiple effects. Maybe they... Oh, yeah, yeah, because there's Evoker, but then there's also Summoner. Hmm. That's gonna be interesting to work with. I alright. Try that again. This time maybe only have one of my uh primary physical attackers attacking. Ah, bring him to strike. Excellent. Bend. Try out Hitra. I suppose I could be doing this well exp Really? Healing. 
If we just healed me. I am so confused. Healing. I, uh, I'm not against it, I'm just confused. Okay, so what does Titan do? Comes down and punches the bitch. Alright. Yeah, do they have, like, different effects per casting? Or is it just... Dependent on the class. Wait, was Titan the last one? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna try Heatra again? Because now I'm just confused. Oh, yep, there's break. That causes gradual petrification, which... Thinking about it, gradual petrification is terrifying. Okay, there's Hellfire. Okay. So yeah, it's random. Interesting. I actually kind of like that, but at the same time, it, I can al already see that being a little bit uh, concerning when you go and think to yourself, okay, I just want to... Uh, uh, all I want to do is blast you with hellfire. Just die to hellfire. And they don't. Oh, hello. Oh. Yep, okay. Not going that way just yet. Come on. Are there any other towns I'm missing? This seems suspicious. But not suspicious enough, apparently. Magicians! Okay, so... Yeah, that means that uh, Chocobo probably does have an actual attack. Maybe. I probably should have cured. Mesmerize. That just put him to sleep. Well, we'll never know now. <laughs> I don't know. I. I think it's definitely an interesting class. But I think the unpredictability of whether or not it's going to be... Oh, here's a Mesmerize spell versus... Oh, here's a spell where it actually does the damage. Kind of in that same way when it comes to Ifrit. Like... Ifrit. I was expecting just Hellfire. I wasn't expecting Healing Light. I think I... I've explored everything I could. Yeah. I don't think I can get to some of these other places without um, a bigger, better, better airship. Uh, repeat. We're gonna rest before we head down into that little hole in the ground. Yeah. I am going to keep him as a um, evoker for a while, though, just to see. Just, you know, gauging how he does overall for a while. In the meantime, a quick save. And we got ourselves a tiny little hole here. And yes, I did buy a buttload of mallets just for this reason. Oh. Yep. That's Cave of the Circle. We cannot un smallify ourselves, huh? Hmm. I like to call that a problem. Not exactly what I was planning on you to doing, but okay. Hmm. 
Sure. Would you kindly actually kill them? Wait, why are you blinking? Most injured? At least blocking actually seems to do something. It's a crying shame that Icy Stare only seems to attack one character. I know immediately right now people are probably thinking to themselves, Hey Dar, why don't you actually, I don't know, get other folks to learn some spells? Chocobo Kick? Hey, that was actually useful. And the answer to that question is that because that would currently require more grinding, and honestly, I just kind of want to play the game. <laughs> I I think that's so far, that's pretty much the, the one thing I really have against this game, is that it does require you to uh, swap out your classes and whatnot. Like, I imagine... Ah, Jesus. Like, I imagine that when it comes to uh, Garuda, that would have been a far longer, far more arduous fight had I not had uh, a Dragoon in the party. Is there any loot in here, or am I just wandering around for the sake of wandering around? Seriously, can I not? I would like to... So situations like the Cave of the Circle here and, um, where was it? Ah, yes. Miniature Demon Horses. Ah. The so situation, yeah, situations here where it's like, oh, here's your, here's some Demon Horses. And it effectively makes Darius and Ghost our two physical characters of the, of the party. Kind of useless. I get that it does enforce... Oh, hey. Uh, why don't you use stuff like... Uh, Geomancer and the whatnot. And I could, but... Eh. Not what I'm feeling. Not what I'm in for the characters. Kind of like when you remake a character for a D&D game or whatnot, but... Yeah, this is kind of the case when it comes to Darius a lot of the times. But they don't have Gnome, or they don't have... Some other... Race or something. It's actually kind of the case when it comes to Celasta. Like, I want, I want to do an evil playthrough, but they don't have Tieflings. Which is important for at least two of the party members. <laughs> also, is it just me or have these places been having less and less loot? Bovi those are straight up minotaurs? Can't fool me, game. You know what? I'll fight the minotaurs. Uh, if free. I suppose theoretically I should be attacking with, or not Ifrit, uh, Shiva. Was there a Roga? And I forgot to pick that up. Oh, Hellfire only attacks one person. That kind of sucks. Spark. Actually, assuming of that, eh, I'm not gonna assume that hits everyone. I was about to say I should heal instead, but yeah, switching back to Geomancer is kind of tempting at this point, simply because it's like. 
All I've been doing is attacking with Mail and Mel. Bip, bip. It's a door. I'm suspicious when it comes to actual doors. Case in point. We made it, but we can't risk. My life force won't much last much longer. Let me cast a spell on your ship. This will allow you to travel underwater. The happy dog Alice can now travel underwater. Let's go to the Temple of Time under the sea at Cape Twin Horn, south of Ceronia. Now you will find Noah's loot. Why do we need that? The music of that mu magic loot can reach the world of dreams. You must use it to wake up Une, bring her back to our world. I, on the other hand, must go and fetch Eureka's key. Once you have found Une, you will need to commandeer the invincible, colossal battleship. Now go! Find the loot and awaken Yune. We will see each other again, young heroes. Uh, at least we know what to do. <laughs> I will warp you out of here with my magic. I'll leave Yune to you. Farewell for now, warriors. Could have warned us about that before you teleported us, but alright. Yeah, I don't know. I like the idea of those mini dungeons and whatnot, but to make it so as the literal mini dungeons where you're forced to be miniature. I think my only real problem with it is that it makes it so as certain characters are utterly useless. Esmeralds. I don't fully understand what it is that Mesmerize does. Does it stun people? I don't know. But we have our next goal. We gotta go underwater. How large is this area underwater? Oh my lord. Now well, let's go back up for a moment. Oh, you know what I should do? I should double... First off, let me double check here. Oh, I do have a Roga. I'm an idiot. Uh... What I want to do... Because I can... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. This is going to be a significantly shorter one, but... Hmm... I gotta think. And I kinda wanna check on seeing if I can get Leviathan. Because that's what I'm guesstimating I can do. I can go get Leviathan once I get the right airship. But, I'll call an episode here when we return. We're gonna see about Leviathan, and then we gotta explore underwater. Yay. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. As always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.